Hi, I'm Alan Haddlestad and I'm 16 years old. And I'm Ian Moffitt and I'm also 16. Our project is concerning photosynthesis of cyanobacteria or blue-green algae in space. The equation for photosynthesis is 6 CO2 or carbon dioxide plus 6 H2O or water plus light yields C6H1206 or glucose plus 6 O2 or oxygen. The reactant carbon dioxide has a density of about 1.9 uh, kilograms per cubic meter at STP. Air has a density of about 1.3 kilograms per cubic meter at STP on Earth, so uh, carbon dioxide has the tendency to sink to the bottom of the container. The only reason you don't get a layering effect on Earth is because of atmospheric mixing in the troposphere. In space, the effects of gravity are negligible, and so we wouldn't expect the carbon dioxide to settle to the bottom of the container. How will this affect the photosynthesis of the blue-green algae? Our hypothesis is that uh, the O2 levels from the blue-green algae will be much lower than here on Earth because the CO2 is less attainable by the algae. Our method is to, for to perform two experiments, one on the ISS and one on Earth. We will have a set amount of cyanobacteria placed in a container with a set volume, given a set amount of light, and then every 15 seconds, take a data point, and then plot those data points on a graph, and find the best fit line. The best fit lines will tell us the rate of photosynthesis of the cyanobacteria. We'll then compare the slopes of the best fit lines from the data found on the ISS to the data found on Earth, and see if the O2 production uh, increased or decreased in microgravity. 